Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with the tables we were using Rx. So I have already set up the project, I have added the pod file and did the pod install. So I have the Rx Swift and Rx Coco set up and this is a main storyboard, there's nothing on it. I have the very beginning and the view controller. So yeah, let's get started. So let's first add the table view. This is nothing new. You should be familiar with it already. So I'm gonna paste through it. Let's add the cell. First, uh, can I use a simple struct of person? Uh, let's get that. And the uh, initial data. Maybe you'll get it from the database or network, it doesn't matter. After getting that, you can follow along. So, in the view, Get an observable from the person array. So let's do that. It's gonna be of type. Observable of type of person. Now we have 
three things over here the array itself and the each person and we also have the cell okay so select cell is equal to cell minus d with you cell this for example to use dot label one dot text count person dot use for the next one just yeah it's gonna be two it's gonna be h Finally, to add the observable, uh, disposable for this observable, but suppose back, suppose back, let's add that. And we're done. This person is in the mood. Let's add it to the string. Select the emulator. I'm using five. Let's build and run. I five. Select the simulator. And here we have the value. So without using any table view controller or data source or delegate, you get to do this. Simple, right? Next, what if you want to? Know, do something when you press uh, some cell. So that's pretty easy to You will still don't need data source and delegate. So for doing that, you need to do table dot rx dot model. Select it. Here are our models person self. And you know, subscribe to this.
so it's exhausting. That. Okay. So now we have the cell. We can do a one dot text. If you would prefer text, or we could do anything. For now I'm just changing the value of it. See what's the problem? Question mark. Will then run, and we have an error. Um, it's label one. Okay, and I'm running on the simulator. Let's open the simulator, and if we press the name, name printed, the value changes to new value. You could do anything you want. We understand that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's all, all I wanted to show you in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. The code will be on the GitHub, so check that out if you want. And until next time, bye bye.